The banks of Claytonia have always played a huge role in the community. Who better than Chuck Shurman, a past owner of the Farmers Bank of Claytonia, to tell the history of the Claytonia banking community. On January 2nd, 1896, there were four stock certificates issued. Uh, stock certificate number one was William Steinmeier, 37 and a half shares. J.H. Steinmeier, 32 and a half. Cyrus Harvey, five. And uh, J.I. Moore, uh, who was cashier, uh, for five shares. They started with $8,000 in uh, paid up uh, capital and uh, they were in business. At that time there were two banks in town and uh, they then uh, merged that gave them some financial stability. And in 1918 they decided to build a new building at the present location. The building cost uh, $16,500 uh, with furniture and fixtures costing about $1,500 for a total of uh, approximately 18,000. In 1923, Herbert Rickers uh, joined the bank as assistant uh, cashier, and he got the big salary of uh, $60 a month. And he did work at the bank probably for at least 50 years. In January of 1955, uh, Elmer Peterson, a a uh, correspondent bank officer from uh, uh, First National of Lincoln, the correspondent bank of Farmers Bank, uh, bought the bank from the Steinmeier uh, family, and he only owned it maybe about two years. And in 1957, he joined his father-in-law at a bank, and he sold the stock back to uh, the Steinmeier family at that time. In the summer of 1959, I was approached by the Steinmeier family uh, to manage the bank, uh, which I uh, accepted. And my wife and I were able to purchase the controlling interest from the Steinmeier family uh, in, on May 1st of 1963. The uh, bank was a hum of community activity. We had uh, insurance and real estate. We provided uh, guardianship and personal representative services for uh, estates. Uh, in addition, the uh, gas and electric people would stop in uh, once a week. We um, operated um, Meals on Wheels for probably 10 years, about the time the store was going out of business. I delivered them around town. We had up to 15 uh, customers at one time. Uh, we sold the bank in 1993 to a man that was our executive vice president, Tom Remington. He passed away within a few years of uh, cancer. Uh, his heirs sold to the First National Bank of Beatrice, and um, they in turn sold to the security first people who are now the present owners of the bank.